Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial 34. It's titled Thunder and Lightning. I have the CS5 program opened and I'm opening a new FLA. The only thing I'm going to change is the background color, making it black here. I'm going to knock it down to 50%. And this first layer I'm going to call building V U I L D I N G and you can draw any picture you want I'm going to put in one I already have drawn of a building and I'm going to use that as my picture I'm going to highlight it modify it convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected and call it building B U I L D underscore M C. Lock that layer, putting a second layer in, call it lightning L I G H T N, lightning, and select the first layer of that, the first frame of that layer. Make sure you have your pencil tool selected and stroke color white and we want a stroke of 2. Close that panel. And up here somewhere, let's make it a little bit bigger now that we have it where we want. And right here, let's put a stroke of lightning. As long as it's wiggly, lightning is lightning. There we go. Pick up the, the open the properties panel again and if you don't have this you have to select the pencil I want a stroke of one it's going to have some lesser lightnings come out of this and one more here there's my lightning I'm going to pick up my selection tool make sure the buildings is locked Highlight all that lightning, modify it, convert it to a symbol. Movie clip, lightning, L-I-G-H-T-N underscore M-C. While it's selected, open the properties panel up. And down the very bottom, there's this filter section down here. Open that up. And at the bottom of that, right here in the corner, click add a filter and we want to a glow. We'll have a high glow and we will take the color as white and if you look what it does it puts a little it puts a little blurry thing onto that there. Can you see that? Gives kind of a an awe. Close that lock that layer open a new layer call it mask M A S K and what we're going to do is we're going to mask out parts of this so it looks like the lightning is growing okay let's select the mask layer and we will select the ma the brush I got this crazy green color anything other than black or white and on that first frame I'm going to just show that let's go back to the building unlock the buildings layer pick up the selection tool open the properties panel and here under color effects the brightness I want to take the brightness way down way down there in my case minus 84 minus 80 thereabouts select all these frames one two three insert keyframes let's deal with the building since we have it first selected open it up make sure it's selected brightness increase it a little bit there I go just a little bit at the same time let's unlock our mask and increase the size of our mask pick up the paintbrush take this into our mask 
and this one here. Then go down these three again. Insert keyframes. Select the mask layer. Let's make the mask a little longer for these ones. And those ones. Yours is going to be different than mine. Now we'll do the building at the same time. Pick up the building. Make sure it's selection tool. Highlight it. Bring the brightness up a little bit more. Up to minus, in my case, minus 44. Select these three layers again. Insert keyframes. I'm going to do the building because it's already selected. Bring it up a little more. There's pretty bright there. Do my mask. And we're going to do one more. So pick up the paintbrush. You may want to do more than one more. That's that's your your decision. And I always make sure that I did yeah, I did the building. Insert one more set of keyframes. Let's finish the mask off. So now the whole thing is masked. This time here we'll see the whole entire lightning. And this is when the building will be at its brightest. Oops. Pick up my selection tool. And this will be when my building's at its brightest. Right there. And I'm going back there, that mask layer, and just fill that little dot in. I don't think it's going to make a difference. And let's just have a quick peek at that. That's just pretty fast. All right. The first thing is we want to want to select all these layers and pull them to the right so that we have about five blank frames. So we start off by with five blank frames. And let's just make everything make it twice as long as what it is. So I'm selecting everything, move it over one frame. Selecting here. See what I'm doing there? Moving over one frame. Selecting here. Moving over one frame. And selecting these. Move over one frame. And right here, insert keyframes. And I'm going to put a few here because the lightning is going to stay for a while. Insert keyframes. Now this is when it's at its brightest. So insert keyframe, insert keyframe, insert keyframe. So I have like three or four extra keyframes. And what I want to do in here is I want to have every second keyframe the lightning disappears. So I want to see where I make my full lightning. I want at least two of those of full lightning. And then this one here, I want to click on here and clear frame. Right click, clear frame. That just takes the lightning right out of the picture. Click on this one, clear frame. Now grab these two. One, two, oops. Grab these two here. Copy them, copy frames. Paste them here. Paste frames and paste them here. So now what we have is this lightning is going to turn on and off, on and off. Click on this, double click on this mask envelope. Select mask. Okay. You got this little blue grid there. It means it's a mask. Click on the lightning, drag it up, and it turns that little blue. Now we have a mask. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's stretch these out a little. Do the same thing here with these. Select all these to the right once. Select all these to the right one. And you can mess around with this as much as you want. Select all these to the right one. Select all these. Oops. Select all these to the right. And I think I'm going to go with that. That gives a little bit of interruption. And we want it to stop. So insert a layer. Insert a blank keyframe at the end here. Open your actions panel. 
and we're going to put a stop action in here S T O P open bracket close bracket semicolon back to the main timeline let's just have a quick look at that I like that control test movie now the only problem is at the end when there's no lightning it's staying bright so in here where there's no lightning we have to dim the brightness down on the building so select this frame lock all the lock all the layers unlock the light the building layer and right here select this frame which is the unlocked which is there's no lightning here and we have to drop this brightness down oops the selection tool and we have to drop this brightness down was down like an 80 something or something down here right click here same thing that's good and right here same thing and one more time right here good and the last thing I want to do is I want to come up about 10 more frames insert keyframes click on this stop drag it up into here and now let's have a look at this Okay, you can have it repeat if you want and this was my action layer action script lock all the layers select the mask layer insert a layer and call it thunder t-h-u-n-d-e-r I have a file import import the library takes a while to prepare to import things and I have a thunder here somewhere thunder right there that's in my library now yes it is select in my case I'm selecting the, the first frame of the thunders layer and I'm going to bring my thunder in and I'm going to actually put a second thunder layer in thunder and I'm going to select that keyframe and bring thunder in there we go so now I'm gonna have a boom 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 and a boom 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 let's test that out I kinda like that select all these frames select them all let's drag it up about five ten frames like that select the frame here where the where the picture is at its darkest right click copy that frame and paste that frame in here paste that frame in here and if you have a second set paste that frame in here so now we have this dark time then we're going to hear the thunder and then we're going to see the lightning I'm quite pleased with that I think that's pretty good. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.